welcome back to The Platter, where we serve the best of film, fashion, and food. I'm your lovely host, Tierra, and I also have... Nita. And of course, we have Mr. Obi. All right, let's get into it. I know y'all can read the moniker, so we're just going to say it again. Stay, Stay your ass home. at home. For it's real. cold, and if it ain't cold, everybody's sick. COVID. COVID is not playing. COVID is like a bullet. It don't have no name. It will get everybody. Absolutely. You know, and speaking of COVID, you know, uh, our, our current president, I don't even know what's called. You know, they having a, uh, another, what they call it, super spreader event down in DC where they're, uh, they're having a million mega march. Mega, yeah, marching. Mega, yeah. That's a tongue twister. Million, million mega, mega, mega march. march. Yeah. Now he just <laughs> throwed through the stuff. This stuff. <laughs> like he was in a car. He kind of like, eh, I don't, I don't. I, I think they're way more into it than him. Like, I don't know if he just, what what, what, what you guys think, but. Yeah, I mean, he did. I mean, they were outside the White House in D.C. having a whole march, and he rolled past, like, fuck y'all. Y'all had one job. That was really me. Fuck it. Go back to your business. I'm going golfing. So, yeah. He's going, go- he's going golfing. Now, mind you, all oh, you yeah. Trump fans are out there, like, oh, he should, he's going golfing. People are dying. And he's still playing golf. Like he's not yes. missing the beat. All he care about is his lawsuits over why he ain't the president no more. He don't care that y'all ain't, y'all ain't well. He don't mm-hmm. care that there's trucks full of dead bodies in the back of hospitals. He just know y'all didn't elect him. And he going to play golf. That's, that's really, lot. that. like to me, that should be very disheartening. That's just a they lot. don't care. I, I, don't, I don't know what he's done to them. He's, y'all are. Okay. Speaking of Trump, though, you know, I don't know why he should be kind of happy that um, he's no longer going to be president because, you know, they just said that he could get up to a million dollars per speaking event. Trump, you need to focus on these speaking events so your ass can get out of debt and pay all your debt collectors, okay? Because if you can get a million dollar per, do your thing. I mean, I say, you know, just let Biden do the little president jobs because I know I think that's part of the reason why he does not want to lose why, because he can't speak? Because, no, not because he can't speak. If he loses this election, all these lawsuits that's kind of sitting in limbo, all these people suing him, he got, right. this dude got rape cases, he got shit happening in the courts, okay? I don't think he's going to make it to to do the, get the million per speech, because, I mean, as soon as he's not president anymore, I feel like the FBI is going to be outside and steps like, gotcha, bitch! Let's go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anything will happen to him. I don't, think, I don't think, think, I mean, when you look, Y'all look at him, wondering? I, no, no, no. I'm, I'm just being honest because it's a, it's all about the principles in America. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever seen an American president go to jail, and it's all about the 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 antics or oh, the, the optics, optics, how he looks the on optics. the outside world. Yeah. So I, I don't think they they'll let him go to jail. They might come after his business. His, all his businesses. Is they they might come after. Yeah, they might come after his businesses. Maybe somebody in his circle might go to jail. I just no, don't see him going to jail. But if he was going to go to jail, it would have happened with, um, what's the dude that hung himself? Oh, uh, Epstein. Yeah. yeah, that would have been it because that had a tight, like everybody was almost involved in that one. With this, I, I doubt it. Yes, they might go after some of his businesses. Yes, some of his inner circles might go to jail. But for a president to go to jail... But his inner, half his inner circle in jail. Thank you for killing <laughs> Just thank you. Thank you for killing me. <laughs> half of them in jail I, I, already. I, I, Again, that's just my opinion. I'm just going by what the it, optics. It, yeah, like uh, the the Watergate guy. I can like I can't remember Nixon. 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 Yeah, he ain't go to jail, but he actually yeah. did get impeached. Impeached. Again, did he go to jail? No. no okay, so like, like, I mean, okay, I, I just fine. don't see it happen. Okay, Trump ain't going to jail, yeah, but sorry. maybe they can get one of them hotels and pay some of his debts off and. Maybe he can do some of these speaking engagements. I always think like maybe he'll be talking and one day one even one of these southern people will be like, Man, what the fuck are you talking about? Hey, that's what I was about to say. He's <laughs> not that great of an orator. Like I just don't see it happening. But there might be some people that'll pay for him. Yeah. Um, I mean maybe. Speaking of Trump and COVID, you know, one of my guilty pleasures that I only watch once in a while because I forget it's on. Real Housewives of Atlanta had to shut down for two weeks because they have COVID cases. Now, they did not say who had COVID. They just said it was there. Um, I know you probably don't care because you don't really watch it. Nah. I don't want, you know, I, I hope it ain't nobody that 
I mean, I know it's sad anybody to get it, but I hope it ain't one of like the main people or anything like that. But I think it's I smart. Safe. I think it's smart for them to just shut, shut it down. down. Well, you know, they recently, they recently had the uh, the what? The See? parties in Atlanta. So I think Ti had a birthday party. Oh, so you Mulatto said had a birthday so party. They, they probably did party some for what? Birthday party. Birthday party. Yeah. party. So she's saying they might have had some super spreader events. Right. I see. Everybody I, did see. Yeah. I see. I see. I see. And some of the Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, well, we were at that par- at I those see. parties. I see. Mm. Uh, friends of friends were at those parties, and so yeah, they probably. She said they might have been the ones that brought it to the show. Might have been. That's what she's trying to implicate. So, but we hope everybody's healthy. Uh, hope, hopefully they are. Moving on. Okay, so something I think that um, I don't know. It's kind of nostalgic. Um, their HBO is doing this uh, reunion from like the Fresh, Fresh Prince, Prince of yeah, Bel Air cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the in the original, um, Vince said, said it's said to be going to pop up on there. I don't know how because you know how Will Smith had some serious Bad, yeah. issues. Serious mm-hmm. issues. Like mm-hmm. they could not stand each other. So I think that that makes me feel all warm and Christmassy and holiday. You know, it's Christmas time. I know it ain't Thanksgiving, but you know, this is America. This is Christmas time. Absolutely right. It is officially Christmas. Soon as uh, Trick or Treat Day was over, it was officially yeah, Christmas. Yeah, absolutely right. <laughs> I think they had Christmas ornaments out before Halloween. We have some in our house already. Dang. Dang. Oh, I looked at my wife like, yeah, what, what happened? Like, it's Christmas time. It's, it's there already. You know, we even, we, we're in the spirit. You know, we got these uh, hard ciders. Some apple cider. Christmas. Christmas, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Apple cider and a little bit of Hennessy, you know, just to shake it up a little bit. Damn. It's <laughs> a beautiful Christmas. <laughs> speaking of, also speaking of Christmas, you know, the Christmas movies are out. They're coming, they're coming. Um, we haven't reviewed any, but we will. But there is one that just premiered on this week on Netflix, Jingle Jangle. Now, I haven't watched it, and Who's I want to... Felicia Rashad, who I love. Oh, nice, nice, Forrest nice. Whitaker. It looks very whimsical, so I'm definitely going to watch it because I'm one of them people that watch all that repeat of the same Christmas movie with different couples and cry like I ain't see it the first time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> if I love. Yeah, I'm, I'm like a Hallmark Christmas watching person. Like, I will watch, I watch okay. that, and I watch White Christmas every year. I love that movie. I think it's one of them. It, it's cin- like, cinema-wise, like film student It's just a really, it's a cool musical, and I love it, and... I know y'all, y'all are real quiet. Like, nah, y'all don't watch, I, like y'all don't watch Christmas movies. I feel like the Grinch so, right now because I'm not big on Christmas movies. Maybe because of how I grew up. I, I mean, Christmas for us was you go to church and you eat rice. And <laughs> you go to church and eat rice. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Ask any Nigerian. Trust me, Christmas so in Nigeria. So y'all didn't get gifts? Who the fuck gave you gifts? <laughs> Because me? they tell you it's about the birth of Christ. You trying to tell me I'm there's no Nigerian Santa Claus? It's you couldn't even find a black Santa Claus yet. <laughs> you barely could. No. But it's nothing but black people. Yeah, but Christmas <laughs> is not a black thing. The, like the way oh, it's portrayed, oh, it's oh. birth of Christ. You go to church. You eat rice. And you eat like I'm not even gonna lie. Back home, Christmas Day. Rice just tastes like it's only made for that day. Oh, okay. So, like you don't yeah, even yeah. taste it. Like it's it's like it's they put they, in, they put their whole they put, heart and they, their heart yes. and soul into that joke. That yes. <laughs> so but, I have a question. Yeah. Is it too late to become Nigerian? Because I told my kids that COVID kills them. That ain't work. What? There's gonna be rice at our house. <laughs> so we're going. Y'all going to get rice. Y'all going to get well, yeah, but I mean, we still mix it up with it. I mean, we're now, I mean, you have yeah, American kids, kids, so you still got to do the whole toys and all that shit, gift. I don't know. No, 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 we and... converted today. Right. <laughs> 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 rice. What is for, you said you don't get your food. Yeah, rice. rice. Spicy. Well, well, we get spicy. Christmas. Spicy rice. Rice. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. You're going to love it. Christmas yeah. rice, not just rice. Anyway. Yeah, Christmas I gotta rice. So. Heart and soul right. right. The heart and soul is in yeah. Don't do that. I love Christmas. I'm like, I'm one of those people I like watching people open gifts. That's my favorite part. You didn't gotta get me nothing. I'm I'm all happy and bubbly and And you hear the same music over and over again. Rudolph what kind of hate is this? I, How you hating on Rudolph? Oh my god. I'm gosh. saying you hear the same music over and over and over again. The only one I like very well is uh, the Mariah one. With All I want for Christmas is you know that's on repeat right now. Hey, you see, so it's like you don't even have that money. You see, there you go. Christmas ain't Christmas for me what until that? you hear. Um, 
my mind. Who's first? That's that, 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 that. oh. Security. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? Look at her wallet and her purse. You know what? You know what? You cannot take my black card because my brother took my black card because I don't like watermelon. I'm allergic to cocoa yeah, like butter women. and I hate the movie Lean on Me. So I don't have a black card. Okay, Thank well, there are no clashes. You have there a mulatto card. No fine that you can pay to get it back. Burn it. It's going in the okay? Take the ashes and spread them out. Ain't do what y'all gotta do. It was taken so long ago. I don't, <laughs> I don't even miss it. It's the temptation. I, don't even, I mean, I'm pro- if you the if you the same, maybe a few more notes, maybe I. That's call the it. famous part. That is the most famous part. The okay, moving on. Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. We hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> we, we we all about we all in this Christmas mode, but Thanksgiving ain't even happened yet. I so know. you know, and they're I telling know. people with this COVID, like they said, don't. They tell them don't. You don't want to have food, yeah. dinner with your family? Please don't. So. We'll see how many. It's going to be a very interesting thing. People are going to do it anyway. They really are. Let's be honest. I am. And they might not fly to a different state. But, but that's what I'm that's saying. What I'm that's saying. what I'm saying. Yeah. Outside the state, I doubt it. But Well, have yeah. a safe Thanksgiving, even though we'll talk to you probably before then. Yeah. And have definitely. a Merry Christmas and watch all. We're going we're gonna to watch Jingle Jangle. I'm going to make them watch Jingle Jangle. We're going to tell you about Jingle Jangle. I might even dress like one of the people from Jingle Jangle. Don't come for me. I love Christmas, okay? Well, look, wait, didn't. I know so I think I have a Christmas movie. We ain't talking about that. Moving on. That's the one I watch. <laughs> really? That movie was awful. Wasn't that like Jingle All the Way? Uh, yeah, that's what, yeah. Okay, I watched it several times. I watched Bad Santa <laughs> since we're talking about Bad Santa. Bad Santa. Yeah. Those are not wholesome Great Christmas movie. movies. Great <laughs> movie. The one, movies with people trying to Go to Santa's workshop. Oh, they found they Christmas found love happen. in the dressing room. It was oh a great God. movie. Bad Santa is amazing. Did you now say that I in love to work that shit. Hey. That's what Christmas is about. Bad Santa. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Moving okay, on. Okay, Moving okay. on. Um, and comic movie Marvel news. Marvel has stated that they they will not be doing a digital Chad for uh the second um. What Black do? Panther. They haven't said yet. Because, you know, even the writer, Ryan, didn't even, nobody knew he was sick. So they're going to have to rewrite whatever that was. But they and said that they're cool. not they're not going to do a digital version of him to, like, be in the film for a minute. Which I think is good. Because that always looks Stupid. fucked up. It always looks so fucked up. And it's like, remember even the end of um, the, the, the driving No, the driving movies. Fast and oh, Fast and Furious, Remember? where the guy died. Yeah, and then they had that oh, digital Paul thing. It, 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 it was weird. It was I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Uh, so I, I, I applaud them for not taking that that particular. I love move. to see what they have to do. I love to. I, love I can't to wait. See. I'm gonna watch it anyway. It could be awful. All y'all could tell me is it's bad. Y'all could put it all on the board. I'm watching that shit. Just like I watched that awful Titan series on HBO Max. Okay. Which I'm one? Watching, awful I'm watching. Ooh, stop. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So speaking of, the you know, the hologram. The okay. hologram. Okay, the hologram. Speaking of hologram. So, you know, Kim Kardashian. So what Kanye got her for her birthday was a holograph of her father. Okay? Oh. No, no, no. Don't all. Everything that he said was Kanye's a great man. Everything was, was, was promoted <laughs> Kanye. And I was like... What wait, type of selfish the, the, shit is that? Wait, wait, wait. The, the, the girl's holog- dad's yeah, hologram? Yeah, the dad's hologram was him praising Kanye. <laughs> that's a smart ass dude. And, and then that. happy birthday, Kim. Like, who birthday is it, really? Never happened. Uh, yeah. Smart. Wait, what? Yeah. Fucked up, but smart. Kanye, now that's That is. That Speaking is of the Kardashian, you see that um, Chloe, the one that looked like Beyonce now, um, the guy, the Tristan dude, uh, I don't know, is that her did, husband? Did you say Chloe looks like Beyonce now? Man, you gotta you gotta see some of these new makeovers. Anyways, the Tristan guy <laughs> was she cool. married to him? I don't know if she's married. I don't know. No, I think they just had a baby together. Either true. way, he all he all on social media apologizing to the mom for cheating on the girl. It's over now. But my thing, why are you apologizing to the mom? Unless she was sleeping with her too. Did the mom mm, pimping them? Oh, he wanna be pimped by the mom too. Got it. Keep apologizing, sir. She make she 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 she, she help motherfuckers make money. Do you think? <laughs> Apologize, send flowers, send Christmas movies. I don't know. Like make it happen. Do a little thing to yourself as a hologram, praising yourself. Shit, it works for Kanye, it could work for you too. Try it, you got it, bought out. Um, any other uh news or 
that you guys would like to discuss. I have a couple of other things. I don't know if y'all have seen this thing where I don't know this lady and I know I'm late to the party. But some lady all on social media called, uh, what's her name, Jaguar Wright. <laughs> Ooh, you remember Jaguar Wright. She's this, from yeah, Philly. Yeah, back in the day. But what yeah. I'm saying is she's recently, putting people she, out. she's like telling all these people business. Man. She had told this one story about waking up to common penis in her face. And so, Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. And she, she said, said something about Puffy, too. She said something about everybody, but this, this last thing is common with the penis in her face. And so... Common, common? Parenthesis, common. brother? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, I like, he's fellow Chicago, and he, he light skin, so he lose a little point. But, you know, overall, I like common. I also don't like male Pisces, and I'm a Pisces, so that's a whole other problem. She said she woke up, and this dude's penis was in her face, and she was like, ah, I gotta go, because I guess she was like, I do some hoeing, but I ain't trying to do it right now, kind of a thing at the time. And so... She's saying now it's his fault that her Instagram is deactivated. Like, he's plotting on her. But if she the one telling everybody business, I even listened to one of them after I saw the story. She, she said, you know, these people might get it for slander, but she said that Alicia Keys was a whole stud. She said Mary J. Blige and her husband, husband was sharing yeah. that girl, and now the girl live with the husband, and Mary is out of the out of the scheme. Like, how I bring y'all together, and I'm and the one that And Tevin Campbell, giving. too. Something about Tevin yeah, Campbell. Yeah, Tevin Campbell. Like, she, man, yeah, but her whole thing about Alicia she Keys, she went, went in. in on Alicia Keys for some reason. She said, that's a whole, you know. And then she said, if you in the closet now, it's just because you want to be, it's because you like lying, because nobody cares anymore. <laughs> Which, if that's true, she's absolutely right. Nobody gives a shit. Um, but she just, she telling on everybody. Tell him Usher, but we know Usher was out there. Look at what he got. He got wait, shit. Wait, uh, Usher got receipts. There? Usher got whole diseases that don't go away, okay? Like, everybody knows Usher was out there. So he let it burn, huh? Yeah, and then, uh-huh. and then now everybody gay. Everybody gay. They say, she said, everybody's gay. Well, mostly Puffy. <laughs> yeah, puffy. yeah, Puffy. Ooh, she was And then like I, puffy. I listened to that, and then I listened to something else on uh, YouTube where it was this white dude that said the same thing. That, about Puffy? Yeah, about Puffy. Like, he said he was giggling in a bathrobe. Like, he can't uh, stop, one stop. Like, sipping Moet. Like, you know, like, romantic. Like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, like, footies on the whole night. Like, he, he's like, accidentally walked in there and saw that. Yeah, I, uh-huh. I, I saw that with um, Christopher Williams. Somebody said yeah, he was being yeah, gay with, I mean, if you're gay, you like, you ain't gotta be. Yeah, nobody secret. cares. But, you know, it, it, they're, the conspiracy theories is that all these people is in some weird gay mafia. Now, if everybody knows about it, <laughs> it's not it's not a secret. And if you gay, I agree with Jaguar. You just like lying right now because nobody gives a shit. Absolutely. And ain't nobody daydreaming about Puffy. The only person that pretended to daydream about Puffy was on a movie with Tiffany Haddon when she was pretending oh, yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. Other yeah, than that, you ain't never heard no no woman go, oh, I can't wait to get with Puffy. Don't nobody right. have Puffy? No. If you got a whole boyfriend, live your life. I see you got the amethyst and all the incidents. Do your thing. Like, I'm right there with you. I feel you. I, I, I mean, yeah, live your life. Whatever floats your boat. But I did see all her stuff. And you know the funny thing about this? There, maybe there might be some truth to this because nobody really has come Man, out to check out. nobody ever been like, she a motherfucking liar. Nobody. All they're nobody saying is, clear their name all they're they saying is, you know? you know, she really shouldn't be putting people business out there. And, you know, why is she doing this? She gonna, she gonna burn all her bridges. I was like, how's she burning bridges? I, uh, when she didn't have a bridge. Line, she just needs to be quiet. I, I, right. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. But I'm just saying, but I agree. If I had woke up and common penis was in my face, I probably would have ran too because why? Why? Don't do that comment. Don't do that. Not in the face. You wake up with morning sex and I'd be like, oh, before breakfast, head. Is that a thing? Okay, oh, we saw it. What you want? You got something no, no, you want to no. go ahead and come on. He, well, come on, educate us. I know we not, got real. We no, got no, real. no. I, there's two shows that I've watched. One is, uh, I know you guys are into the Real Housewives and all that stuff, but I'm even ashamed I'm about to say this. But it's one of my guilty pleasures. This is on the Oprah Winfrey channel. It's uh, Put a Ring on It. Put a ring? I ain't never heard of that. I'm telling you. <laughs> it is a Who you watch that weirdest with? thing. Who you I watch it by myself. Oh, God. Yeah. It must be interesting. <laughs> Man, yeah. Because you, you know, every now and then I like to see people in their craziness. So it's this show where three couples, okay. they show up to... Uh, uh, a shrink, okay. so to speak, and they're trying to find out why they're not married. 
Because they've been together a while. They've been, exactly. And some of them, a while is two years. And okay. some, it's five years. Okay. So, it gets to a point where the lady says, okay, you know what? It looks like maybe it's you or maybe it's this or maybe this happened. But to test your relationship, how about you guys date other people? And oh, try man, that's already, that's, that's already gone. <laughs> like, that's, you didn't say no more. Now you see why I watch it. <laughs> that's so why. it's like a hall pad. <laughs> Everybody. So you got to figure out if you, at the end, do you want to stay with this new person or you want to stay with your, and it's actually coming on tonight, so I can't wait. Okay, so it comes, on, on it, it comes on Saturday night. Saturday night. Okay, on the OWN Network. OWN Network. Has anybody actually stayed together after this whole pass? I just started. This is the first We're season. We're out. But it looks interesting. I'm oh, going to tell you that much. So they date and date. And it's not like a one episode they, thing. They, no. they, they, they oh, tell them, the they, do, oh. they tell them go meet. Go, go. They set up, set them up on a date. So I'm telling you, know, you, check you got, it out. You know, you've been sleeping with the same person for five years. And they, and I know the people. They, I know they fine. I know the, the people they put them with is super attractive. Yeah, they and Now you see why I watch cheap. it. Exactly. So Is it cheating though? Dear that my future. future. <laughs> we ever go on this show because decline them dates like a motherfucker. I will kill you and them. <laughs> Please understand what I'm telling you today. But what I'm saying is you gotta. That's like the recipe for disaster. But that do sound real like something I might want to watch one day. It, it's very interesting. I, I'll say. Take I a really look thought at it. you was gonna say like oh, y'all are fixing my life. I know what oh, she was yeah, I watch her. No. <laughs> Yeah, so that was that was one, and then the other one is more of a kind of a serious thing. Uh, touches on systemic racism. This was uh, on Netflix. Okay, it's called Trial Four. I saw the title, but I didn't watch it. It's um, it's one of those things that just gets like it gets you pissed because you see people that are white people, like people, white they, people like people that are get, <laughs> they get screwed, saying. they get screwed <laughs> because of. White people. The justices and the, exactly. White people. So is this kid named? <laughs> his name is um Sean Ellis, 19 years old. This was in Boston. It happened in '93. And what made me even watch it more? It turned out it was near where I used to live in Boston, oh, wow. like five minutes away. So there was this cop that was uh, doing uh, security for Walgreens, mm-hmm. and um, he's sitting in his car, and he gets shot five times in the head. Now. When this guy gets shot, police shows up, no leads, nothing. They don't have anything. Okay. Um, three days later, the this Sean Ellis, his two sisters get killed. They don't know if it has anything to do with the other. Okay. So when police go to interview his family and they had asked, uh, you know, how many family members they have, his name comes up. So when they question him, he's like, oh, um, what were you doing a couple of days back? He's like, oh, I went to a Walgreens to buy Pampers. Now they so got now, him. Now he at the Walgreens. Now yeah. he's in and... So long she, story short, what happened to him? He served 22 years. Shit. <laughs> 22 years a for shit. Sure, man? 22 years. Um, it got to a point where they tried him. That's why it's called Trial 4. They tried, they tried, tried him four him. times. Three times they couldn't get him on. The fourth time, this guy gets 22 years. Wow. And he didn't do anything. That's how fucked up it is. Man. Now, what makes it even worse is it got to a point, like his lawyer was amazing. Uh-huh. His lawyer is showing all these hoes. Like, in the story. In the story. Because it got to a point, the girl that he was dating at that time, they had, I think the girl had a, a child or something. They tell her, oh, come take fingerprints. What does this chick have to do with this? She takes a fingerprint. You know, she's looking at it like, I didn't do anything. Okay, here's a fingerprint. Next thing, they find a gun. With her fingerprint. With her fingerprint on it. So they now tell her, you better say it's him or we're going to take away your child. Oh, my God. Like, all this bullshit. Like, it really is annoying, but. And this is a true story, right? Dude. It happened. This dude was just freed in 2018 or 2019. So it's one of those ones that gets you pissed. It's annoying. Um, yeah, they like they, they need to have some good reforms with the police system because you you hear one place you think, oh, it's only maybe this area. Like, no, even everywhere. me from Boston, I didn't everywhere. think that happened that much, but it really got me. I'm like, dude, this is is really fucked up. But yeah, if you get a chance, trial four. It's it's um, crazy, but yeah. All right. Well, well dang, I feel like we. 
actually leaving on some uh, somewhat of a somber note. Um, Man, that's crazy. Did you, do you have any uh, last minute things you want to throw in there? Yeah. Maybe lighten up the mood a little bit? Waiting to exhale. <laughs> okay. Becoming a TV show. <laughs> so, you know, Waiting to exhale has one of my favorite quotes ever, and all of a sudden I say it all the time. Raggedy bitch. You raggedy bitch. You raggedy bitch. Come on, don't know about that. Well, Jack. Don't know about that. Trick, Joe. I love Troy. I love that. That, that, that go. That goes so hard in any, any moment. Anybody any can do moment. anything. Like any any moment. I love that. That'll so, never go out of style. So. And hopefully, please, writers, listen. Have somebody say that at least one time. <laughs> you raggedy bitch. Oh, and you raggedy bitches stay at home. Because <laughs> it's, <COVID. laughs> it's COVID. It's COVID. It's cold outside. And we, we want y'all to live to watch us and enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? And then we got time for celebrations. He don't know it, but Trump is out the door. If he's speaking in your town, don't go because you probably gonna catch COVID there. Yeah. And he don't care no way. He'd rather play golf. Oh. <laughs> As previously seen today. All righty. Well, thank you again for watching the platter. We yep. enjoy having you. Watch you some good Christmas movies, regardless of what they said. Bad Santa. That is not a whole Bad Santa too. Oh! The nerve! Amazing. We're done. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys. Bye.